now you're crying? So I guess what you're saying is that you're okay with that stunt that Jack pulled declaring to the world that I'm not an Abbott? No, I'm not okay with it. You're my sister. God, you practically raised me when our mother left us. You helped me through some really horrible, frightening times, and I will always be grateful to you. I will always, always love you, Ashley. Right now, I need more than your gratitude, Trace. I need more than your love. Hey guys, it's Jim Halterman from TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider. I'm here with Bette Maitland and Eileen Davidson to talk about a really exciting anniversary. Happy 40th to both of you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jim. Now, I did my research on the internet and I saw that your, your first episodes were like six days apart. So you started around the same time. Do you remember those first scenes? I know it was 40 years ago, but do you remember <laughs> actually your first scenes playing sisters? Playing sister? I do remember my first scenes with Jerry Douglas. I remember I was wearing a lot of my own clothes for some reason, and cowboy boots. I was like just graduated from college, I believe, and I was just coming down this, or I don't know, looking around the house. I don't remember that much, but I do remember working with Jerry so much those first days. Yes, and and I too uh, remember working with Jerry. I think that the setup for bringing in this new family, these sisters, um, was that um, Eileen was graduating Ashley was graduating from college and Tracy was graduating from boarding school. So our first scenes were Jerry Douglas playing John coming and picking us up at school to bring us home. Wow. And it just shows the longevity of these shows because you watch, you know, a lot of people watch for the Abbots. Like there are touchstones for me, I know. Do you still hear from fans that remember those early days and they'll come back to you with those early storylines? Every, every week. I mean, I, I'm on Cameo and stuff. People are requesting, I've been watching since the 80s and blah, blah, blah. Sure, of course. Yes, absolutely. I, I actually, there are lots of fans that are have become sort of friends now because we've recognized their names in, first, first it was fan mail in those days. And then as soon as there was the internet and more easy access and then social media, they're still, there are still viewers that actually have watched since the first day the show started. And coming up this March, it will be 50 years. That's wow. Crazy. I know the show is, is doing a great episode for both of you. Can you tell me what we'll see in the episode? And I'm guessing there'll be some really fun clips. I think you're going to see about everything and every hair change, every <laughs> every era known to mankind. I do. I am not a big fan of those flashbacks. I mean, I'm just like mortified. Um, but yeah, you're going to see a lot of the are, are the highlights of of Ashley and Tracy's endeavors and all the horrible things that happened to us over time. And, and the good fun. and the good things too. You know, I think that you, the scenes we just talked about with Jerry, uh, they are, are little clips of both of our very first air shows, both of our first days. So you'll see those. There are some other homages to our romances, to our marriages and children. To... I was in the rain a lot, Jim. I mean, I was like, they, they <laughs> love getting Ashley muddy and. And rained on. That was like right. my thing. I was always in the rain. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing different hairstyles because this one, this is your cover awesome. from the 80s. Yeah. You know, there's some good hair happening there. Right. You're welcome. Well, <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm sure, I'm sure you get asked a lot about favorite storylines or things that impacted you. What does come to mind? Beth, I'll start with you first. What comes to mind when you think of like a, a classic storyline or something that Tracy went through that still sticks with you? Well, actually, there are uh, two or three, and uh, it's 40 years, so I'm probably a lot more, but but um, the first one that comes to mind, I think, is is a little more recent. Um, it was the death of Colleen, Tracy's daughter with Brad Carlton, um, and that went on for 30 episodes of crying and probably was the most uh, emotionally demanding. Then there were early years when we did the concerts with Danny and Tracy and Lauren and Gina, which was Patty Weaver. We had amazing, epic concerts every summer, so there are so so many things, romances, and um, uh, there were uh, lovely, during each summer, there was a point, like a, a um, an, uh, some kind of a, a message for young people to watch during the summers. There were there was a bulimia storyline, there was a diet pill addiction storyline. So there were a lot of, um, an effort made by Bill Bell to teach um, people how to, how to reach out, how to get help, where to find suicide hotlines, things like that. It was a, a real pioneering period. So there were lots of um, favorites. Okay, Eileen, anything come to mind for you? Well, talking about Bill Bell and his legacy of always trying to do something that really kind of helps society, which I thought was amazing. And it kind of changes entertainment, right? One of my favorites would be when Ashley got breast cancer. Uh, she was just heading up, she was just gonna get a mammogram and just to see it was breast cancer awareness month. 
and they found a tumor. So that was an amazing storyline because I got so much mail from women that went and got a mammogram and it saved their lives, literally. And then when we aired later in Europe, I got mail from European women saying it saved their lives. So it's like, what? I mean, you know, you go into that thinking you're you're an actress and you're doing a show and then it, it just you know, kind of levels up a bit. And now Ashley and uh, Tracy, sorry, Ashley and Tracy, <laughs> Have, have also butted heads over the years. I've, there have been different conflicts in the family and then some romance things would pop up. What were those scenes like for both of you when you could really kind of come at each other? I'm guessing there was a fun element to some of that. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> sure. You don't get I think think I mean, I've got four sisters, so I know what that's all about, you know? Exactly. And I only have one, but it is really fun to sort of get all your, um, uh, get all of those things worked out at work and get to leave the building free and clear. <laughs> yeah. And how has it been for both of you just to have the history with each other? Because you're playing sisters on the show, but, you know, I have four sisters, so I know that history runs deep. Right. How is it for both of you to get in those scenes? I'm guessing, well, tell me what your thoughts are on that, just when you're doing these scenes now. Well, I have to say easy, that, right? Yeah, it's so easy. And and with the entire Abbott family, I would say all of us respect each other and love each other so much. And so many things have come and gone over the years we've experienced with each other, both on camera and off, that all you have to do is look in the other person's eyes. There's not even really, besides learning your lines, any preparation necessary, because all of that emotional level, all of those layers of love and devotion and respect are all present. Just Oh, you just look into her eyes and it's all there. <laughs> Eileen, how about you? Oh, yeah. I mean, we have so much history. We, you know, we grew up together, basically. And even though I wasn't on the show for 10 years and we've been back and forth and all over the place. I mean, you know, we just it's like with Peter, too. I just you, you walk in and you just trust them so much. You can trust them so inherently. And you can just kind of you not coast, but in a way you can rest easy knowing that they've got your back and that what you're going to do is going to be honest. You know, and for this episode that celebrates both of you and the characters, I'm get, are, are there going are we going to need tissues? Are there going to be some teary moments as well as just the I laughs? To, I had to wear a poncho for some of her scenes when she was crying. You know, I was like, I think everybody on the set should have been given a poncho. <laughs> Yeah, there's a there's a lot. And it actually, uh, because we are in the present day, Ashley and Tracy, you know, reliving some of these moments in the episode. Um, there's also lovely moments with the family today. Uh, rem you're thinking back over loss and over, um, you know, highlights and um, accomplishments. There's a whole gambit. And so it's like every family, there's so much emotion. And so, yeah, br yeah, bring your tissues. Well, you guys, congratulations. Um, thanks so much. Everybody watch The Young and the Restless weekdays on CBS. Mm -hmm.